What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how you can craft best in slot gear and quite possibly one of the cheapest ways possible. The prereqs in order to do this is that you need your full armoring set, including the earring, 250 armoring, as well as the Morningdale 4 under control in order to get that plus five global crafting bonus. You'll see why that's important in just a second. So we're gonna go over to the forge and one thing I do want to call out is that this is not a money making technique. This is primarily getting you as the individual character best in slot gear. We're actually going to be looking at bestial gear. Um, and just to start things off, I'm going to show you when you know you use all prismatic materials as well as the uh, Rizzling Seedling, which is just the Savage Divide material, we hit a 700 gear score. But if we swap that to Asmodium, we still hit that 700 gear score. That's saving you 10 prismatic ingots per craft when it comes to pants, which is honestly over 10K on my server over at Marama. It's extremely expensive. So these heavy pieces lock in constitution, which most of the time, if you're using heavy, you're gonna be rocking some constitution anyways. So you might as well just shoot your shot and just go for it. Um, you can see that if I do try to change it to runic leather, I hit 695. It's cheaper. If you want to just do a quick set, you can do that. Um, but yeah, you can really only get away with not using that prismatic ingot in order to hit that 700 gear score. Now let's go ahead and just shoot our shot. I'm dropping in Shirking Heels. And we got a Shirking Heels, Shirking Fortification, and Viger. Not the worst, but also not the best. I mean, we hit the shir Shirking Fort, which isn't too bad. Um, honestly, I might just use this until I do kind of get my best in slot piece. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just share a few other crafts. I really didn't do many of these, um, and I was actually surprised by how many were really good hits. So I'm going to go ahead and do another pair of pants here. I'm going to lock in Shirking Heels, because, hey, I think I'm trying to get a Shirking Fort, Shirking Heels set together. And, okay, cool. We got Health, Shirking Heels, and Refreshing. Honestly, an amazing piece, especially for the fact that we barely spent any materials for this. Um, plus, it didn't cost me a chromatic uh, seal, which is great. You know, these are not time gated. Just throw some materials together and you should be all set. Now onto the chest pieces. These are always the most expensive, right? So we're going to go ahead and locking shirking heels once more. Get the Azoth added. And I'm going to go ahead and just craft two of these and let's see what we get. Okay, first chest, health, shirking heels, and slash conditioning. I mean, that's honestly, for a clump fighter, not bad at all. Um, the other one is kind of trashy. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. But this is potentially a best in slot piece of equipment based on what you're actually planning um, your build to do. Let's end things off with one more pair of pants for fun and get the Azoth in there and let's craft it. Health, Shirking Heels, and Invigorated. Also, not an awful piece, honestly. Like, this is very useful, um, especially for a PvP build if you're going for a tank-like build. Now, really quick, I do want to call out that this is not only for heavy gear. Um, you can also do it for light and medium, but you have to keep in mind that the attributes are slightly different. For the medium set, you're locked in at Strength and Dexterity, which may be good for some builds, not so good for others. And then if we go over and take a look at the light build, it's intelligence and focus, same situation. It may work out for your build, it may not. So keep in mind before you start crafting. Before you start asking yourself, why is this cheaper than a casual craft? I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. We're gonna take a look at these mithril crafts here. I'm going to scroll down. Let's just take a look at constitution, right? And let's look at the chest. 16 prismatic ingots right right there i mean like the number of materials is already higher um it costs attribute crafting mods as well as shards i can't even hit 600 with this setup right now if we move down to the golden scarab setup it's going to cost me a golden scarab some shards attribute mods more materials than it did in the previous crafts and we can get away with hitting that 700 without all three prismatic materials, but we are locked in at either uh, mithril ingots or prismatic ingots. Um, so let's go ahead and just lock in 
prismatic ingots and use the runic leather honestly that'll probably be our cheapest option and test our luck out the other big thing is that it does cost a chromatic seal which are time gated materials so you cannot craft your full you know potential best in slot set today um, if you go this route we're gonna go ahead and lock in the two craft mods which i mean that is a positive for sure and i'm gonna try to hit health if i hit it i mean i'm probably gonna be a rich man okay yeah i don't hit health i believe it's a little bit of a 11 percent chance to actually hit health here so i still plan on kind of cr making this craft probably daily in order to just flip for some gold in the meantime i might test my luck through that other process as a quick recap let's just take a look at some of the gear we got in itself looks kind of cool right but let's look at this heavy set right we've got health shirking heels refreshing health shirking heels void harnessing and the heavy chest health slash conditioning and shirking heels I get it, it's not the perfect set, but I'm gonna throw it together. Stone Soul is basically free from the um, gypsum kiln, just using dense materia. And I've got the Ankh amulet, which helps with my shirking heel set. I eventually will get the heavy artifact helmet as well, just to complete my set. But overall, not bad at all, considering we really did not spend that much gold at all. Plus we got some other items to play around with future sets. So it's a win-win in my book. Also, just take a look at some of the prices of these items, right? So these are all shirking heels and health items. If we just take a look at some of the, these different um, crafts and the price associated with them, you can tell that these are really sought after items. So honestly, this may be the route for personal use for a nice heavy set or a nice medium set, maybe even a light set if those attributes fit your build. But regardless, I just wanted to share this because it might be helpful for you and some of the builds you're pulling together. If you made it this far, it means you actually watched the entire video. Props to you. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys later.